Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, welcome to this video. Um, I hope you're doing swell. Hope you're good. The Affinity Photo Army is growing. We're a force to be reckoned with or something. Um, in this video, I got another reason why Affinity Photo is amazing uh, and it's mock-ups. Now you've probably seen mock-ups all over the internet. Uh, they're used for advertising and marketing. A lot of times now they don't even take pictures of physical products. They just throw them on a mock-up because they look so good. Now, this is where we're going to st steal something from Photoshop because most of those mock-ups you're going to find on the internet were designed uh, for Photoshop. They're Photoshop files. But if you did or didn't know, in Affinity Photo, not only can you work on a file and export it to PSD, a Photoshop file for someone to work on in Photoshop, but you can also open Photoshop files and work on them. So let's hop into Affinity Photo. Let me show you how this works. Let's go. Okay, everybody. So we're in Affinity Photo. Uh, what we want to do first is we want to check one setting because by default, I don't remember now because I set mine so long ago, but let's make sure that you can import uh, PSDs properly. So what you're going to do is go up to the top and you want to look for your preferences. Now I'm going up to Affinity Photo on my Mac in the top left corner and clicking on preferences. You want to make sure these options are selected. So import uh, PSD text and this important one, import PSD smart objects where possible because mockups use smart objects. And I'll explain those in a second, but make sure those are checked off. That's number one. Number two, I'm gonna reset my studio because that's just what I do. I like to reset it to default in case you wanna follow along. I want our screens to look the same. So you go up to window, studio, and reset studio. Now what I'm gonna do first is just open up one of these mockups and we're gonna start working on it. I'm also gonna note, you're gonna find a lot of mockups on the internet and quality matters. So sometimes you'll open up a mockup and the shadow doesn't match or something doesn't work properly. It could be an old mockup. So just keep in mind, sometimes you won't know if a mockup is going to work properly until you bring it in. So let's open it up. So I'm going to go up to file, uh, open, <laughs> and I'm going to grab uh, one of these mockups here. Um, so I've got all these PSD files and I'm going to grab this one here, uh, can six, and I'm going to hit open. And it's going to magically open. So now you see this cool mockup with uh, this can with the, you know, the top and the sides. Now, uh, pay attention to my layers panel over here. So if you look at the layers panel, you'll see all these uh, options or all these different layers. Now, each mockup is different depending on who designed it, but you have top cap and side and border and side and all these things. So these are all portions of the mockup which you can uh, edit. So basically, I'm going to add a layer here so I can show you what I'm talking about. So what they do in Photoshop is they create something called smart objects. And they basically, it's almost like making a selection and then saying, okay, this particular selection, if you click on it, it's going to sort of open up in its own embedded document. And whatever you change is just going to edit that selection. So basically someone will create a mock-up and say, they'll take the top and they'll say, okay, this is going to be a smart object. So that would be say this layer here, top cap. And then maybe they'll make this a smart layer and they'll make this part a smart layer. So each uh, part can be edited differently. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to just turn this thing off so you can just say so you have an idea what I mean. Now, all I'm going to do is take my mouse and I'm just going to click on this top cap layer. I'm just going to double click on it. Now you might notice in the very top. Now I have my, uh, can PSD It opened up this other tab up here called embedded. And if you look at it, if we go back and forth, this is just the top of the can and I'll show you now this happens all live. So let's say I get rid of this. I can turn this layer off because I don't want it anymore. And just say I went layer, uh, new fill layer and I just made it whatever. Let's make it, uh, this blue. And now I just go from this embedded tab back to my uh, tin can mockup PSD I opened. Now you can see the top has changed to that color. So it's literally happens that quick. It's, it's uh, I think actually in Photoshop, when you do this, when you go to this thing, you actually have to go save it first before you can see the live preview, but not in Affinity Photo. So this is how you start working on mockup. So we'll do something really quick here. I'm gonna delete this uh, layer and I'm gonna grab a texture uh, just to make it look cooler. I'm gonna look for a dark texture just in my stock panel here. And I'm going to grab this one right here. I'm going to pull it in and I'm going to uh, zoom out once this comes in because it's probably giant. Yep. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller just so the texture shows on the whole box. Now, again, we're going to go back over just to see what the change looks like. And now that texture is sitting on top. Now we can just go through each of these sections and, and add this, um, add this texture. So I'm going to go back to my layers panel and I'm going to, uh, pick. So this is my original PSD here. I'm going to go to the second one. that's a side design and you can see it's a, it's a side and I'm just going to grab my stock. I'm going to drag this texture back in 
And then I'm also going to zoom out when that comes in. So it's again, not giant. You may want to get a texture ahead of time. That's not giant because it could slow your file down. All right. So this is just the side I'm working on right now. Okay. And I'm going to go back to my document. Now you can see the side has been changed. I'm going to go back to my layers panel. I'm going to go to the next one it says uh, border color edit. I think I'm going to leave the border for now just to see, I'm going to go to side design edit and you can see again, it's another part of the box and I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to grab my, um, faded texture that I grabbed for free out of my stock panel there. I'm going to zoom out and all this is, I can speed this up. I may or may not, but I'm just grabbing the same texture over and over. So the box, uh, from the top and the sides all has the same sort of texture. I'm going to go back to my PSD file at the top here. And you can see at the top, as I open each one, it opens a new embedded document. So now this is pretty cool. I got the texture on the top and the sides and let's see which one is, uh, duh, 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 which one is this one? Side cap edit, border edit. Let's do, did I do this one? Nope. I didn't do this one. Okay. So I'm going to add same thing texture here. I'm going to turn this layer off cause I don't want it back to my stock panel and drag this on here and slow that down. And I'm just going to shrink it a little bit. That's fine. Sure. I'm going to go back to my PSD up here. So now you can see this box has been transformed from the mock-up uh, that was on there to uh, this cool texture that I just added. So on this one, I could always add some text. So let's just say it's in black, but, uh, I'll change it to white or something and I'll change the font. So let's go to, let's make it white and let's change the font to something better. Do not open. Let's just say that. And again, I'll go back to my PSD. Now you can see my text is on top there. So, uh, I'm going to go through and I'm going to just spice this up a little bit. I will note, I'm going to add a couple of cool things, um, on top of this. So, what I'm going to do is grab some other, uh, PNGs and I'm going to put them on top. So they're not sitting in any of the embedded smart objects. They're going to sit on top of the mock-up to make it look, um, like it's going to come to life. And I'll show you, uh, what I'm going to grab here. Okay. So, uh, I'm just going to show you, um, uh, what I'm going to put on here. So right now you can see I have two layers sitting on top of my mock-up here. I got this paint drip, which I'm going to put in here somewhere. Now I'll, I'll just do that and I'll show you the end result, but I'm going to do this paint drip thing. And I'm also going to do this paint splash here. I've got these uh, layers isolated. I'm going to put these into somehow. So they look, makes the mock-up come a little bit more alive. So it looks like maybe it's coming out of here or here. I'll figure it out, but uh, that's going to be this example. I'll show you, this might be the thumbnail or I'll show you uh, at the end what it's going to look like. I want to show you one more quick mock-up for a uh, paperback. So I've got this PSD open. It's from a website that was called Cover Vault, which unfortunately the owner shut down. It was a really cool site. He gave away these mock-ups for uh, authors for free where you could do books, book covers. And this is the same idea. So I've got a mock up here. I've got a PSD file and this is what his looked like. So you've got the shadow. I can turn that on and off. It's got a backdrop. I can turn that on and off and I've got, you know, the book itself. I can turn that off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the book cover itself. When I do that, I'm going to get an embedded uh, document open up, which is the cover of the book. And I can turn that off. I can grab whatever texture. Let's just say, I'm going to say paint for this one and let's do something. I don't know. Let's do this one. I'm going to drag this on here. So this cover is going to go on here and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So I got this uh, paint and I'm just going to write, uh, I'm a book and you aren't because it's true. Then I'll just change the font to probably the same. Okay. This looks, Yep. Let's just, let's just do this. I'm a book and you aren't by Fred Frankie pants. That's my pen name, Fred Frankie pants. Okay. So, um, and let's just go over and see what that looks like. We'll go back to the paper mockup and there you go. Uh, I'm going to turn these guides off so you don't see that. Uh, let's turn those off there. So this is my, that's how quick I made a book mockup and I could change the background. I could turn that off. And I could bring some other sort of background in, uh, whatever I wanted to do. I could turn again, the shadow off, but that's how mockups work. They are smart objects where they have isolated particular parts of the book or the, sorry, the, um, whatever the mockup is, and you can go in, edit that. And when you do it, it'll the changes will reflect, um, on the, uh, outcome. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. 
Uh, I thank you guys so much for watching. If this was helpful at all, uh, you know what? I gotta ask, cause I'm a YouTuber. Uh, I gotta ask you to tap, tap, tap that like button. And uh, if you've never seen my stuff before and you found this helpful, there's more coming. Hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment. Uh, we'll be best friends forever. Uh, I'll read you my 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 diary uh, or some something like that. Um, okay, so thanks. I'll see you guys in the next one.